How do you differentiate or define colonization versus dysbiosis versus infection in terms of staph aureus? I, um, I love the question. I think it is a hard one. I don't think we have strict, you know, hard and fast yeah. guidelines, but I think the idea would be that somebody who really has no symptoms, their skin is clear, they're comfortable, uh, they may or may not have staph on their skin, but many of our atopic dermatitis patients, even when they're clear, they have abnormal microbiome, mm. there's imbalance. And that's kind of that first level. And it's sort of that concept of nature abhors a vacuum. When there's that imbalance, sometimes the bullies come and say, look at this, there's this, you know, it's not, it's not a harmonious society here, we're going to come in and take over. And that's often when we see staff starting to take advantage of the situation, just the imbalance. So those are kind of those early phases, you might not have any symptoms or signs, you're comfortable, but there's something fishy, then you might start to see some colonization of staff. Now you're swabbing it or doing PCR, however, you're testing this. And you're saying, boy, now there is a signal for staff, but maybe you don't have anything clinically yet. So you could still potentially be clear. But then you start to move into the patients where there's something happening, this either subclinical inflammation, kind of low level, but it's there to more moderate effect, of course, all the way up to a really bad flare up. And of course, in those really bad flare ups, many times, I wouldn't say always, because I truly do have some patients with severe atopic derm that don't seem to grow staph. But many, many, many times they have a lot of staph and it's abundant. And it's probably playing a direct role at that point, too. So you can see it's a little slippery. But that's that's why this is why it's such a complicated condition. I mean, if there was just a simple, easy answer, I think somebody smart would have yeah. hit it a while ago. But you know, the fact that it's complicated when we have 26 different treatments and different traditions trying stuff 